it feels it. Oh, that's loud. It feels it. Um, there's probably a bit of recency there, but I thought the performance was a step up, actually. Um, players were incredible. Work rate and uh, understanding and discipline and aggression and quality, everything you need, because you have to perform well, I think, to give yourself any chance here, because they're a top team. Well, yeah, I don't know about that, but it, it felt like we, we had, as a repeat, a good um, organisation and, a, and then a, uh, an attitude to to just run and, and to defend and then to be brave when we had the ball as well. I thought we asked some questions of, of Spurs. It wasn't like a, a smash and grab game. I thought we tried to press high. We, we tried to win the ball back. We tried to construct our attacks. Uh, like I said, we're playing against world-class, certainly a lot of world-class players there and a, a team that's in a great moment. So we knew that we had to be good and thought we were today. And did it deserve the win, do you think? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, that's, that's my feeling. Um, you know, you have to perform well, as I said, and then even when you perform well, you, you can't guarantee the result in football, especially here. You can see historically how difficult it is for Brighton and Hove Albion to win at, at Spurs. But um, for us, great day for the club. Three points, clean sheet, um, 40 points with six games to go. So... Um, it's not so bad considering it was Armageddon about three, de three, three games ago. And you turned another giant spanner in the race for the top four. Well, there's nothing that we're concerned about ourselves. You know, we, um, I thought it was only fair if we, if we beat Arsenal and we have to go to Spurs and beat them. Yeah, I mean, I thought it's hard when you have a team performance like we did to single anybody out. But um, tactically, he was really good. I thought he understood when to when to cover and when to release and when to put pressure on. And um, and then you can see his qualities, high end actions at Champions League level. So I think he, he you saw the the full array of his quality. Uh, it was a little bit of a consideration. It was also tactically, we felt that I might go a little bit longer and maybe use Danny um, off the off the off the bench. Danny's running power in behind, so um, combination of all sorts of things. And um, there was later the performance of Moises Casino as well. Young player was having an exciting season. What do you make of his performance today? And just to take on him going forward. He was incredible, and uh, you know it's his second game in the Premier League. He's had some big games for Ecuador, so he's used to playing uh, at a high level. Um, for us, he's had to be patient, and we've tried to find the right time to play him, always believing in his quality, always believing in what he can do. Um, <clears throat> so I'm delighted for him that he's played the last two games. It, it, it's uh, two games, two wins, so he's had a good start. Well, I, th I think you know you have to consider how the opponent plays. That's or how we always organise our team. Um, the, the trick is to make make sure that, from our perspective, what we're doing is consistent. So it looks it looks the same regardless of what the system is or who the personnel are. And I thought I thought you you know you could recognise a, a Brighton and Albion team today, but there's always an opponent on the pitch, and you have to pay them respect, which we which we did, because they're. You know, they're so efficient with their attacks, they build their attacks really well, they can counter attack, they press high, they drop deep. Any team that's competing for the Champions League is is if we're being honest, a level above us. So we have to be um you know, we have to we have to find a way to gain an advantage. How do you think you did that? You nullified what's been the inform front three in the league probably. You you managed to, to nullify that today. Well, I I think it was a combination of lots of things. Firstly that that it was a, a collective effort by the players. I would say something like Danny Welbeck epitomised the attitude of the players in terms of playing a winning role against Arsenal and then playing a role off the bench today. Does it with no ego, ready to help the team, ready to perform. Um, so you, you need uh, players that, that, that have that mentality and have that um, character because without that, you've got no chance.
necessarily the top four, but that was just the top seven, top eight. Well, I think it's, um, you know, it, it sounds easy, and um, of course we've got ambition, and we want to we want to do that. We always understand the the opponent and the quality of the opponent we we face every week. So you have to take steps. Yeah. This year, um, you know, we haven't used excuses. We've lost Adam Webster, Lewis Dunk for big periods of the gate of the season. Um, Destabilises us a little bit. Obviously. Sold Dan Byrne in the January window, so again defensively um, we've had to re readjust. But I think the players are, are getting better with the, the amount of time they have in the Premier League. You know, you've got Rob Sanchez first season with Crowd, Tariq Lamptey, Moises Caicedo, Alexis McAllister, um, Mark Cucurella first season in the Premier League. So it's just about taking steps. Um, I think most of our supporters understand the process we're in, but it's football, and like I said, three games ago it was the end of the world. Um, the reality of Brighton and Hove Albion in the Premier League is we're going to have to suffer at some point. That's how it is. It's how you respond and how you stay together as a club. And, and I must admit, the support I've had has been fantastic. Rich, your question. Uh, is there foundations in relation to the Yeah, I think we. I think the last time we played Spurs was at our place before the international break, and we were suffering then. Um, and we had to reset. And I think we did that, that well and we performed really well against Norwich. It's probably the most dominant performance we've had in the Premier League in my time, but it's nil nil. And there's all sorts of stuff around not scoring and you know it can become difficult. So we needed the Arsenal win and performance, which gave everybody a little bit of belief again that we can actually achieve and we can actually be a good team. Um, and sometimes when you suffer, you, you can grow from it, you can get better. It's not nice, we all want to win. But sometimes you, you have to lose and you have to make mistakes and you have to suffer to, to get better. And I think the team's done that. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't watched it back. My guys have watched it back and they thought it could have been a red. But the referee gave us a yellow and that's life. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.